walking in memory of a local fallen hero. Several groups coming together this morning outside the Capitol trying to raise awareness for veteran suicide rates. News 10 ABC's Harrison Grubb now shows us how they're honoring his memory. Taking strides in memory of McCoy Hicks. I hate the cold, but I'm here because I love my son and uh, we want to just honor his memory and uh, let everybody know that we're here to save military lives and that's our mission. Hicks was active duty Navy when he passed away in February of 2019 at just 20 years old. His first station was in Washington, D.C., serving as a ceremonial guardsman. Where he uh, buried six to eight uh, fellow sailors every day um, and that kind of brought out his PTSD in him and he was struggling with that. He felt that he was doing something honorable for their far fallen. This morning's walk was organized by walkforvets.org, a nationwide organization hoping to bring more awareness to veteran suicide. We like to bring organizations together. We like to bring veterans. We like to bring advocates together. It's part of a campaign to walk in 22 states in 22 days, symbolizing the number of military lives lost each day to suicide. Uh, it's not easy to do this. Uh, you know, we're here until 1230, 12 o'clock, and we're on the road and we're heading to Boston. But it's, it's great seeing the community come together and, and help the veterans. Hicks's father, Michael, who walked with his son's flag, honored to have McCoy recognized. It's a, a, a pretty big undertaking at 22 states in 22 days. Um, and then adding <laughs> our son into the mix, it just, it just felt right. Shortly after his death, McCoy's family began Hicks Strong in his memory. The organization helps connect active duty and veterans to mental health resources, getting them the help they need. Since being founded, Hicks Strong has already helped provide over 800 therapy sessions to more than 100 veterans. It just means a lot that, uh, that they're still here uh, because of the work that we're doing and because of our son. Proceeds from this event will go towards helping connect military members, veterans, and their families to telehealth therapy. Reporting in Albany, Harrison Grubb, News 10, ABC.